All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole elect. It's your brother Lakama coming to you again with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And then within this lesson right here, <laughs> you see the title, man. This is uh basically uh, just a little upload that RT America had put up, and it was uh within like nine hours ago. It says Episcopal Church pays reparations to black people, in which we are not black because the word black, black is just a color, man. And if you look up the definition of black, it means everything bad, man. You know, and no one's white. <laughs> no one is the color of a white T-shirt, man. You Edomites, you're different shades of red, man. And us Israelites, we're different shades of brown. We're not black. We're not Africa. We are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible talk about. And we consist of so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, man. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. But getting into this lesson right quick. This is RT America nine hours ago. It says Episcopal Church pays reparations to black people. The Episcopal Church and several and several dios I can't get that word right from that. Dioceses uh in states such as Maryland, Texas, and New York are working on racial healing. They are doing it through what is being called Racism reparations. The Episcopal Diocese of Texas acknowledges that its first bishop in 1859 was a slaveholder, and a church in New York added a plaque nothing. The church could not have been built without the money from slaveholders. <clears throat> now, many churches are initiating or considering how to make amends through financial investments <laughs> financial investments and long term programming so like it <laughs> long term program that will do the spirit <laughs> it says uh, <laughs> and long term programs benefiting African Americans like I say we're not African neither are we American man that, that name African come from uh, a Roman man Leo Scipio Africanus he named that landmass after himself, man. We don't come from an Edomite. And America comes from the name Amerigo Vespucci. We're not African, neither are we American. We damn sure ain't from two continents, man. It says, the Episcopal Church has been the most active major denomination thus far. And the Lord ain't dealing with religion like that, man. Not with not with this not with this Christianity Christianity BS man. <clears throat> we have the true religion man, and that's the one West doctrine man. You know, starting with <clears throat> Elder Abba Bivens man. You know, but you know I, I didn't really know Abba Bivens, but you know the one I do know is our apostles, a great millstone, uh, Elder Apostle Taha on down man you know that's who we get this truth from that's who teach us the one west doctrine man this is the true religion of the bible <clears throat> where it teaches us the real names of our power and which is yahweh the heavenly father and yahweh shah his only begotten son you know and that we are the children of israel man not them gutter rats over there in our land right now and these churches they all going to burn in the nuclear missiles man it says the episcopal church has been the most active major denomination thus far several dioceses dioceses including maryland texas long island and new york launched reparations program in the past 13 months while others are preparing to do so so far the money has gone to support black students <laughs> and you got you're gonna have to sell out to get it those in nursing homes you're gonna be too old to get it and to help support black owned businesses, businesses that are not going to succeed because <laughs> this place is over with, man. It's done with. 
This place is finna be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, man. That's when your house shot get back, man. Your house shot is coming back during World War Three, and this is not your house shot, man. This is Cesare Borgia, a fucking Edomite, man. Cesare Borgia was a real man. He was the son of a Roman pope. Had sex with his sister, <laughs> killed her husband, you know. And Michelangelo, the one that painted his picture, that was his lover, man. This was a real man. This is not our power, man. And you could never pay us reparations when, guess what? You are the reparations. You are a part of our reparations for you to go down and us to rule over you, man. That's why That's why they want to give you, Jakes, that reparation money, man, to keep you dumbed down, man. To make you think that they doing something good for you, man. The only thing that they can do good for me, man, is bow down, man. This is stolen land that they own. You know? <laughs> hey, all our all our uh, all our gold and stuff, man, is in is in the uh Federal Reserve and and in, in the catacombs of Rome. All that stuff belongs to us, man. First and foremost, the Heavenly Father, man, your house shall on down, man. They can never pay us reparations. But I'm gonna get the definition of reparation, then I'm gonna get into some scriptures. <clears throat> and I'm gonna prove <clears throat> that when Yahweh shall get back, he gonna give us the real reparations, man. This is what we waiting on. We waiting on our big brother to come back and subdue you damn devils, man. This is a uh, reparation, just a Google uh definition search. It says the making of amends for a wrong one has done. By paying money to or otherwise helping those who have been wronged. <laughs> it says the action of repairing something. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's get some of these uh, similar words. It says amends, restitution, redress, compensation, recompense. Ooh, that word recompense is heavy, man. It's in these scriptures that I'm about to get. It says repayment, atonement, indemnification. Indemnity, damages, salate, salad, salad, saladium, <clears throat> or however you pronounce that. <clears throat> Let's get this word uh, redress right quick. It says redress. It says remedy or compensation for a wrong or grievance. Let's see what the full definition says. It says remedy or Set right and under an undesirable or unfair situation. Ooh, and what uh, what kind of unfair situation are we in right now, man? We got we got the heathens, we got these damn devils ruling over us, man. That's an unfair situation when the Lord told us that He created us to be above all people on the face of the planet. But what did our people want to do? They wanted to live like these damn heathens, man. So He put us in an unfair situation. He put us at the bottom. And now we got to serve our enemies, man. Going into uh, the book of Deuteronomy, man. Then it says, <laughs> set up right again. That's a reparation, man. That's what the Heavenly Father is. That's that's in, that's within the movie, man. That's that's the end of the movie. That's that's the part, that's the climax, the part of the movie that we waiting on. To be set up right again, to be set back in the place where we belong, man. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so rectify. Let's get that word rectify. So you put right, correct. Let's get the full definition. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> put right, correct, convert. Alternating current to direct current. Uh, say purify or refine. Ooh. A substance by repeated or continuous distillation. But how are we going to be purified? How are we going to be refined, man? By going through that fire, man. That affliction, that, that furnace of affliction, man. Going through, going through this adversity, man. Burning them impurities off of us, man. The elect is going to have to go through that fire, man. Okay, let's go back right quick. <clears throat> I don't want to get too far, too off topic. Break up. 
break that down. Okay. Oh man, come on man, this phone trip. I don't want to look at that crap. Get that out of here. Alright. I think I got this word redress. Yeah, I got that one already. But basically, basically y'all get the point, man. I don't want to mess up my my recording because this crap is acting up right now. It's lagging, seems like. I don't want to mess up my little video. Okay, so now I'm going to just get into the scriptures, man. Leave that alone for a little second. <clears throat> because basically I want to get on this image right quick, man. Because this is not this is not our Lord and Savior, man. This is an Edomite. This guy is not coming back. If this guy was coming back, man, we're going to be in slavery again in the kingdom of heaven, man. <laughs> if this guy is this the guy that's coming back, we are fucked. I'm going to say that right now, man. I ain't saying excuse my language neither. If this the guy that's coming back for us, we are done. It's a done daughter. <laughs> it's a done daughter, man. Let's get into the scriptures, man. Because I'm, uh, I'm going to destroy this image right quick, man. All right. I'm gonna first, first, I'm going to get into 1 Maccabees uh, chapter 3 and 48. It says, and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint their likeness slacky. Let me read it over. It's first Maccabees three and forty eight, which is in the Apocrypha. You know the the Apocrypha contains the fourteen books that was taken out of the original sixteen eleven King James Bible, man. You know, it, it's part of the Old Testament within the sixteen eleven King James. You can get a sixteen eleven King James Bible with the Apocrypha in it off of Amazon, man. <laughs> Okay, so this is First Maccabees chapter three verse forty-eight. It says, "And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images." And that's what happened, man. That's called iconoclasm. <clears throat> that's called iconoclasm, right there. Let's see if, if I got that definition pulled up on my other phone. Okay, this is the this is the uh, this is the Wikipedia definition of iconoclasm it says oh man these phones trash it's like oh, come on man all right this is the wikipedia definition of iconoclasm it says is the social belief in the importance of the destruction of icons and other images or monuments most Frequently for religious or political reasons. Who that's heavy within itself. It says people who engage in or support iconoclasm are called iconoclasts, a term that has come to be figuratively applied to any individual who challenges cherished beliefs or venerated institutions on the grounds that they are erroneous or pernicious. <clears throat> It says, uh, let's see. It says, conversely, one who reveres or venerates religious images is called an iconolator in a context such as a person is called an iconophile. <laughs> Iconoclasm does not generally encompass the destruction of the images of a specific ruler. After his or her death or overthrow, a practice better known as damnatio memorai. While iconoclasm may be carried out by adherents of a different religion, who, yeah, man, and these these <laughs> hey these devils they got a different religion than than us, man. Their religion is Satanism, being being adverse. To the most high God, man. Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. They are totally adverse, man. They are the Satanists, man. Satan, Satan, Satan is a it's a literal spiritual demon Satan, but he got counterparts that's doing his bidding on the earth. And they are the Satanists, man. They go against everything that's 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 according to the most high's will, man. 
or his word. They go against it all, man. Even his image, man. Look at the image that they gave us. Look at the image that they gave us. I'm going to bring out the true depiction of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. I'm going to bring out the true depiction because Christians like to say, don't nobody know how he look. We don't know how he look. But that's that's blasphemy, man. You ain't going to, hey, ain't no more cloak for you seeing, man. He came and walked upon the face of the earth and John the Revelator revealed how he looked in Reve the book of Revelations, man. You ain't going to be able to stand on that, man. You ain't going to be able to stand on that, you know. All people get on their hands and knees and bow down to this crap, man. Bow down to this image. The Mother Mary, too, man. You know, all people worship this crap, man. That's pretty much uh, the point on that definition. So now what I'm going to do is. <clears throat> I'm going to go into the book of. Uh, let's go into the book of Revelations right quick. This is Revelations. 11 and 8 it says and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city yeah because we're spiritually dead right now man <laughs> we are the walking dead uh, the majority of our people are the walking dead but the the elect the elect have obtained what they were searching what they were searching for the elect searching for the truth man the election have obtained it but the rest are blinded right now man revelation 11 and 8 it says and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of this great city which is a miracle which is spiritually which spiritually is called sodom and egypt yeah this is this is spiritual sodom and it's spiritual egypt man that's why you got a pyramid on the back of the one dollar bill man and it's it's, it's 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 major sodomy going on in this place man you got bati boys everywhere you look man <laughs> Same sex marriages and your president, you could thank your, your last president for that, man. He legalized same sex marriages, man, for the whole nation. This is spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know what happened to the last Sodom and Gomorrah, man. It was destroyed by fire and brimstone. Thus, the same thing is going to happen to AKA America, man. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And our Lord said we was going to go into Egypt again on ships, on slave ships, man. That's when we came here to the so-called America, man. It says where also our Lord was crucified. How did they crucify him? They crucified his image, man. They gave us they gave us that. They gave us this statue that you looking at, man. They crucified his image. From there. <clears throat> Hopefully this lesson is edifying to you, Akim and you are walk, man. <clears throat> From there, let's get uh Deuteronomy chapter 28 to prove that this is Egypt, man. <clears throat> This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. And I'm going to start at. I'm going to start at verse 64. And I'm going to jump down to the point. But this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64. It says, and the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there shalt thou serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone. And when it's talking about that wood. It's talking about that cross man. That they use that wooden cross that they use. To hang our Lord and Savior on man. You got niggas wear that around their neck man. Niggas wear that death instrument around their neck. That's a death instrument, man. If you got a brother, sister, mother, father, they got shot with an AK-47 kill, you're not going to wear an AK-47 around your neck in remembrance of them, man. You ain't going to do that shit, man. Same way with the cross. Take that shit off your neck, man. Our Lord and Savior was hung on the cross, man. 
When the scriptures say, take up your cross, man, don't mean why the shit around your neck, man. Now I'm going to jump down to verse uh, 68. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It says, And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, meaning our homeland. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. See, our people don't realize that they have enemies. That's why they're getting their ass murdered daily, man, by their enemies, man. Yeah, two-thirds are killing up each other, but mainly, <laughs> hey, we have an enemy, man. Or so-called Negroes, Hispanics, uh, Native and Seminole Indians, man. We have a common enemy, man. It's time for you tribes to wake up and realize who that common enemy is, man. He put all of us in the slavery and captivity, oppressing all the tribes, man. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Was not the so-called Negroes brought over here in slave ships in 1619, man? <laughs> they just, I just did a, I did a video not too long ago on the lay, on the so-called last slave ship that they found down there in Plateau, man. The Clotilda. I did a video on that, man. It's supposed to be the, the so-called last slave ship that they found. Yeah, we those people, man. Okay, so from now, and we in the land of Egypt, man. We still in captivity. That's why our big brother coming back to free the captives, man. The ones that come back through the spirit and power, your heart by Shem Yahushua, come back to this knowledge, man. You got to come back to who you are, man. If you're not claiming your heritage in these last and final hours of these last days, you're going to be destroyed, man. Plain and simple. You're going to be destroyed, man. <clears throat> so from now, I'm going to get <clears throat> Let's get 2 Corinthians chapter 10 Um, Because So like it, this is a, this image This image right here is a stronghold to our people, man They really think they Lord This is they Lord and Savior, man They really think that, man they really think that, man, they don't, that's why I say, man, if you don't come back to your heritage, come back to knowing, remembering who you are, you think this guy is your Lord and Savior, man, that is not your Lord and Savior. You are going to be destroyed thinking that this guy is going to come back and save you. I digress on that, man. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. These scriptures will pull this image slop down, man. Because like I say, I'm going to get the real image of the of, of the only begotten son in the scriptures, man, in Revelation. Just to pull this image down, man. Cast down this imagination thinking that this is your Lord and Savior. You Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latino, Native and Seminole Indians, man. This is not our this is not our Lord and Savior, man. <laughs> Ain't nothing this man could do for you, man. It's over with for him, man. This guy here, spirits don't die, man. This guy here, <laughs> he may be back on the earth today, man. Because reincarnation is real. But this guy here, his spirit, he he gonna get put into another body. His ass is going into slavery, man. He is gonna be a part of our reparations. Thus said the Lord. Okay, verse five, it says, casting down imaginations. <laughs> yeah, you imagining that this is your Lord and Savior, man. Get that out your head. It says, and every high thing that exalt, ex exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. It says, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. That's right, man. So, from now, just to make that point, you know, this, these scriptures pull down strongholds, man. These these scriptures, when they brought out the right way in its 100% doctrine, it, 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 op it opens up your third eye, man. That pineal gland, that's where the Holy Spirit rests upon, the pineal gland. And that's what they're trying to destroy 
<laughs> by giving us these vaccines, man. <laughs> you know, but that's another story for another day. Another topic for another day. So from now, let's get Second Thessalonians chapter two. Um, I'm going to start at verse one. It says, now we beseech you, brethren. This is Paul. This is a this is Paul's letter. It says, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, because his name is not Jesus Christ. It says, and by our gathering together unto him. And that's what the elect is doing right now. We come in unto him through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, through the, through the Holy Spirit, man. You know, we've learned the truth. Scriptures say the truth shall set you free, man. And, and we are free in our mind, man. We're no longer uh, chained in the brain, man. Thinking that this is the guy that's going to come back and save us. Hell no. Nah. It says, verse 2, that <clears throat> verse two that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that the day of a Mashiach is at hand. And it is, man. <laughs> Our redemption draw. Nah, man. Verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And see, these Christians, these Christians, once again, they thinking the they thinking that the Antichrist is about to be revealed. <laughs> See, that, that's that imagination and that stronghold that these scriptures destroy, man. The so-called white man is the Antichrist, man. Look at the image he gave us. The so-called white man is the devil, man. Devil means deceiver. This devil has deceived the whole world with this image, man. You top-notch Edomites. Y'all are the devil and Satan, man. Y'all are the counterparts of the spiritual demon Satan, man. Y'all deceive the whole world with this image, man. <clears throat> Verse 4, it says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God, this image, sitteth in the temple of God, this image, Showing himself that he is God. This image, man. <laughs> a Edomite. A Edomite, man. Our God is not no Edomite, man. The Heavenly Father is a so-called black man. His son is a so-called black man. <clears throat> okay, verse 5, it says, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. It says, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah. Verse 7. For the, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let. And who is letting this uh, iniquity work right now? Yeah, how was that? He, he, he letting these devils do their thing right now, man. He let them do their thing right now, man. They 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 building up. They building up. How should I put? It? They building up. They they uh transgressions, man. They building up their sins. They sins have reached to the heavens, man. They finna be judged for all this stuff, man. You Edomites, you so called white people, y'all are about to be judged, man. Just like <laughs> you might say, hey, some of some of our people might say all of them ain't bad, man. Hey. They whole nation finna get ready to go into slavery. They whole nation is about to be is about to be judged like we was judged, man. You could yeah, you could say the same thing for us. Uh, just like the saying in the world, the good have to suffer with the bad. It was a lot of our people keeping the commandments back then, man. But the ones that were keeping the commandments had to suffer with you niggas that wasn't keeping the commandments, man. The good had to suffer with the bad. And the same thing with the Edomite. But hey. They are the wick. They are of the wicked seed line, man. Even though you niggas was living unrighteously, you were still a part of that that blessed seed line, man. That holy seed line, because the law, statutes, and commandments is what make us holy. And holy means to be separate. The nation of Israel was the only nations given the laws, statutes, and commandments when Moses came down off of Mount Sinai. There wasn't no other nation there with us, man. 
that what makes us holy because that's the covenant that the heavenly father gave to us man through moses <clears throat> it says verse eight no verse seven it says for the mystery of iniquity does already work only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way until this devil get taken out of the way man how is I going to let him keep doing his thing until he take him out of the way and come back and, est and establish uh, uh, the kingdom of heaven, man, where we dwell is righteousness. That's what we waiting on. That's when we're going to get our real reparation, man. The hell with the fiat ass dollars, man. Ultimately, they're going to give it to you on the chip or you're going to have to take the fucking vaccine, uh, the vaccine to get it. <laughs> so like you, or you're going to have to take but the hell with saying it, man. I don't care. You know, they can strike my chin. They already struck me one time, man. Knocked me down for a whole week. But who cares, man? The famine of the world is coming, man. It's coming. <clears throat> um, Verse 8, it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. Yeah, the so-called white man is the wicked one. You know? Before, before Isaac died, he told Esau, <laughs> you was going to rule by the sword. And the fatness of the whole earth is going to be your dwelling place. So basically, he put him in rulership over the whole earth, man. <laughs> the first came out red all over like a hair of garment. They call his name Esau. Then Jacob came out. His brother, they didn't describe Jacob because Jacob looked normal. He looked just like his parents did. So-called black people. <laughs> then you Edomites had the audacity to say, <laughs> we got y'all blood in us. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all got our blood in y'all. Edomites come from so-called black people, man. Esau came from two so-called black people. That's why his face was red. You can see his, you can see his blood through his skin, man, because he didn't have the the uh the gene that produces melanin. Two black people, two so-called black people can have an albino looking child. But hey. Two so-called white people can't have a so-called black child, man. Get that through your head. Get that through your head, man. We didn't come from y'all. Fuck out of here. <clears throat> Verse 8 again, it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. Because that was some wicked shit to give us this image, man. That was real wicked, man. That was pure deception. That was something a real devil would do, man. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, man. What's the spirit of the Lord's mouth, man? The prophets. The prophets that are out on the highways and byways. It says, verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. And only the nation of Israel can be saved, man. You other nations, you can't be saved. You can't be saved, man. <clears throat> Verse 11, it says, And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. See? <laughs> and, and this is the lie that you, that you <laughs> Israelites believe. That this is your Lord and Savior. The Most High got you in a strong delusion, man, because ultimately you, you might not be a part of the elect, man. He might just want to destroy you and bring you back into the kingdom as a baby because spirits don't die. Hell is not literal. At the end of the day, when two-thirds get destroyed, they still going to inherit the kingdom, man. They just going to have to get it through death by pain. Lord willing, I don't be a part of the two-thirds. <laughs> It says, uh, <clears throat> verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Yeah, these niggas got pleasure in being unrighteous, man. When we are, are the righteous seed, man. But that's why the Lord reserved an elect, man. It's going to come back to him and, and going to repent. We're going to remember that we are still in captivity. We're going to remember our power and we're going to repent and we're going to come back. You cannot repent in the name of Jesus, man. Get that out of your head. You got to repent to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. That's the only way you can repent, man. If you repent in the name of Jesus, your, your repentance is not being heard, man. Your repentance is not being heard. You repent to this guy on this screen, a damn devil. <clears throat> 
verse 13, but we are bound to give thanks always to the most high for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the most high have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, man. That's why you can't choose the Lord. The Lord has to choose you. You can't choose the Lord. You have to be chosen from the foundation of the earth. The Lord do, does the choosing. The Lord does the waking up. <laughs> oh, man. I see. That's pretty much. That's pretty much the point on that. Yeah, that's pretty much the point on that. Now. Now, let's get <laughs> the real image of the Lord and how he looks, man. This is Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 then i'm gonna i'm gonna get 1 through 3 then i'm gonna jump down to 10 this is revelation chapter 1 verse 1 it says the revelation the revealing revelation mean to reveal the revelation of yahweh shahamashiach which the most high gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant john who bear record of the word of the Most High and the testimony of Yahweh Shah of Mashiach and of all things that he saw. This was recorded how he looked, man. So if you if you wicked niggas still talking about don't nobody know how he looked. Hey, <laughs> hey, you don't have rivers of living water flowing from your belly, man. That's all to it. <clears throat> Verse 2, it says, Who bear record of the word of the Most High and the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Yeah, man. Time to wake up, man. Time to get to read, man. Jump down to verse 10. It says, <clears throat> I was in the spirit, this is John talking, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos and unto Thyatira and unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia and unto Laodicea. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven go the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a white garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool, man. White like wool, white in color, woolly textured. That's why he is known as the lamb. A lamb has hair just like a Negro, man, <laughs> a so-called Negro, man. And this Edomite right here on the picture, he has hair just like a goat. Long, thin, and straight, man. These are the goats that the Bible talk about, man. We are the sheep. <clears throat> it says his head and his hairs were white like wool, white in color, woolly texture. It says as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. This image does not look nothing like that, man. <laughs> it says it gets deeper. Verse 15, it says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in the furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what color will it be, man? It's going to come out black. Very, very dark, man. Now, mind you, now it says, and his feet like unto fine brass. Fine ancient brass is brown, man. It's brown. But they want to go, <laughs> they want to go past the fact and say, y'all, oh, he was Middle Eastern. Man, where the hell is, where the hell is Middle Eastern located at, man? That is not a nationality. Middle Eastern is not a nationality, man. That's not a nationality. <laughs> then they want to say he was olive color. Okay. It's only two colors of olives. <laughs> one is green and one is black. 
Come on, man. Stop playing semantics, man. It's, it's, it's recorded in the scriptures what the Lord looked like, man. It says, as if they burn in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. So that's pretty much the point on that, man. That's how the Lord looked, man. This is an Edomite, man. The Lord don't look like this. And just like I said earlier, <laughs> and here you go right here. I got it pulled up, got it queued up already. This is uh, John chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So if you believe that the Lord is a so-called black man like these scriptures telling you, then you got rivers of living water flowing through your belly, man. You are alive, man. You know that the Lord, <laughs> the Lord looks like us, man, us so-called Negroes, man. You know? Our Latino brethren and sisters, Latino, Native and Seminole Indian, man. Hey, <laughs> you are our brethren, man. You are our brethren, man. <clears throat> From now, let's get Psalms chapter 83. Uh, <clears throat> because, <clears throat> you know, the deception is real, man. You know, they they, they want to talk about reparations, but how do you, how do you, what's real reparations, man? First and foremost, you destroyed us as a people, man. You took away our heritage from us. You got to get that back. <laughs> You got to let us know who we are, man. That's that's the first beginning. You got to let us know who our power is. But they ain't going to do that, though, because once we come back to the knowledge of who our power is, it's over with for them, man. It's over with. That's why the Lord put us, he, he, he banned us out of our land because of disobedience. He was mad at us. He was furious at us. He was wrath. He was wroth with us, man. But there was going to be a period in time where we woke up, man. When he was ready for us to wake up, now we've awakened, man. And it's still over with for you devils, man. It's still over with. Our big brother coming back to give us reparation, man. We don't want that. Now, don't get me wrong now. I'm in captivity. You know, I still have necessities, man. I still need things, man. You know, now, if they come out with a reparation check, hell yeah, I'm going to take it. I ain't going to be over-righteous. <laughs> I'm going to use the world. I ain't going to abuse the world. But if they talking about putting that shit on the chip, hey, you could take that shit and stick it up your monkey ass, man. That's what you can do. That's what you can do, man. Or talking about getting that Maxine, you could take that and stick it up your ass, man. And squeeze the handle. <laughs> you feel me? But look, this is what y'all did to us, man. You can't, you can't repair this, man. You came over here and stole this land from our brothers. Shed that they blood on this land, stripped us from our heritage, stripped us of, 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 of from our language and knowing who we are and who we belong to. We belong to <laughs> the Heavenly Father. We belong to Yahweh Shah first and foremost because he shed this blood for the whole nation of Israel, man. You got a price to pay, man. You got a price to pay. Uh, it is Psalms 83, verse 1. It says, A song or a psalm of Asaph. Keep not thy silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Because they hate the Lord, man. They hate us too. It says, For lo, the, thine enemies <laughs> make a tumult, and they that, ha they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Ooh, for they have consulted together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all these nations consulted together. It says with one consent, they are confederate against thee. Now it's finna go in who it's talking about. And guess who is first and foremost on the list? It says the tabernacle, the tabernacles of Edom. You damn Edomites, man. You so-called white people, man. You damn Edomites, man. And this, man, this cut us off from our power, man. Giving us this image, man. Got us thinking that <laughs> you, you, you our power, man. 
Man, get out of here, man. You ain't your reparations, man. Said the tabernacle of Edom, you Edomites, you so-called white people, and the Ishmaelites, you Arabs, man. You Ishmaelites, you Arabs. It says of Moab, you Chinese, and the Hagarines, you Africans, man. You motherfuckers sold us into slavery, man. We fled to the west coast of Africa back in 70 AD, man, fleeing Roman persecution. We went to hide amongst people that looked like us, man, to try to blend in. But you rounded us up and sold us off, man. So you got a price to pay, too. You're going to get recompensed, too. And I ain't even got to say no more uh, of these nations, man. Because the point is made. First and foremost, it said you Edomites. <clears throat> Talking about reparations, man. Oh, we going to get reparations, man. As soon as our big bro get back. This is Joel chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah, the southern kingdom, and Jerusalem, the northern kingdom. The captivity of Judah is us so-called Negroes, man. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Us so-called black Americans. Us so-called Haitians and Jamaicans. We make up the southern kingdom, man. And Jerusalem is the northern kingdom, the Latinos, you know, the so-called Mexicans, you know, the, the so-called Native Americans. That's the northern kingdom. Tribe of Reuben, Issachar, Naphtali, you know, Zebulun. All our brethren, man. We've been cut off as a nation, man. We killing each other, our children, man. And who we got to thank for that, man? <clears throat> Verse 2, it says, I will also gather all nations, all you damn heathens, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Since you want to talk about the Middle East, the valley of Jehoshaphat is over there in the Middle East, man. It says, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You scattered us uh, across. Uh, you scattered us. You know, back in uh, 1492 and 1619 transatlantic slave trade, man, scattered us among the nation and parted our land through that through that Balfour Declaration, man. When when, when Israel so-called became a state in 1948, our land is parted right now between two heathen nations. You damn gutter rats, you Amalekites and you damn Palestinians, man. Some more gutter rats, man. Our land is parted right now. But guess what? Real reparations, the Heavenly Father is going to put us back in our land, man, when he sent Big Brother to come back and get us, man, via those so-called UFOs, those big, bright, shiny chariots, man. Lord willing, I'll be able to get beamed up into one, man, and get those new bodies before I, we, we, me and the brothers, all the brothers, you know, <laughs> like-minded brothers, you know, starting with the elder apostle Taha. On down, we know some of us gonna be martyrs, hey. But that's cool too, man. To die with dignity, and still come back. Be you, if we have to die with dignity, we're gonna be the first ones raised up when you how we shall get ready to come back. See the death and Hamash, the dead and Hamash shall, shall be risen first, man. So if we have to die, we are gonna be risen up first. Then we are gonna come back with your how and get the rest of the brethren that's still alive, man. And we are gonna take the kingdom, man. We're going to fight. We're going to bust heads, man. We're going to come back with spiritual power, man. We won't have to have no carnal-ass weapons, man. That's what they fear. And that's why they're trying to give our reparations to keep our people dumb the fuck down. But guess what? Ain't no enchantment against the elect, baby. Ain't no enchantment against the elect, man. Hey, we already know your plans, man. What you, what you, how you trying to keep us dumbed down? Hey, <laughs> That's over with, man. That's over with. Shit. That's over with. Verse 3, it says, And they have cast lots for my people, and given a boy for an harlot. Yeah. So little boys for prostitutes and shit, man. Had them homosexuals. Had them turned out, man. Go watch the movie Goodbye, Uncle Tom. And so the girl for wine that they might drink. Yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane? 
and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? Man, that's who you need to be trying to give reparations to. The Heavenly Father, not us. Not us, baby boy. Hey, that might work. That might work for the two third man. Cause they gonna they gonna still be dumbed down. But like I say, we ain't gonna be over righteous if you want to give us a check, man. We gonna we gonna take it. We gonna take it and get our necessities, man. Our daily bread. You know, we ain't gonna depend on that. But we'll take it, and, and we ain't gonna stay dumbed down. Cause we already know the truth. Yeah, we'll take the rubber. We'll take some. You know. But we ain't going to be looking at y'all as the savior for giving us that shit. He says, yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zadon, and all the coast of Palestine, where ye render me a recompense? Huh? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? <laughs> That's how the most high feel, man. You can't recompense him for what you done did to his people, man. You can't even repent from that, man. You can't repent, man. You nations are going to get your judgment, man. That's real reparations, man. Verse 5, it says, Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, man. First and foremost, who is this, Who is that gold and silver he talking about, man? He talking about his people, man. First and foremost, you say he look at us as the lively stones, man. When you look at the word jewels, what's the base word for jewel? Jew. We are the real Jews that the Bible talk about, man. We are the real Jews. We are the real jewels. He said, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah Jew is short for Judah. And the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. How can you how can you repay us for that, man? Huh? You can't. It says, verse 7, Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them and return your recompense upon your own head. You you do <laughs> well, I want to say something, I ain't gonna even say it. <laughs> Hey, that's like it's like giving 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 the Lord a money bag, man. He taking that money bag and just knocking your head off with it, man. You think I really want this when he is the king? <laughs> he own all riches, man. Within the earth is riches, man. It's it's other planets with riches on them, man. You can't recompense the heavenly father, neither Yahweh. You're going to get your recompense, though, man. It says, verse 8, Joel, chapter 3, verse 8. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. That's what we waiting on, baby. That's what we waiting on, baby. That's the faith and the patience of the saints, baby. That's what we waiting on. We waiting on our slaves. That's what we waiting on. Hey, we could give a damn about your money. We want you. It says, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the lawyer. How about Shem Yahweh shall have spoken it? Signed, sealed, and delivered. That's like put his sign that's like writing a letter and putting his signature on it. Yeah, I wrote this, man. I have approved this message. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Yeah, you you, you third world countries got nuclear missiles now, man. The weak are saying they're strong right now, man. They said F, F America, man. It says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathens. This is Armageddon, man, World War Three. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. And gather yourself together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yahweh Shapat, man. The Lord's judgment. It says, For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Woo! Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down. 
so like it. For the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great, man. All your iniquities have built up, man. Multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. He gave, he gave, he gathering all the nations right now for World War Three. World War Three is gonna be fought right over there in the Middle East, man. Right over there in the valley of decision, man. It says the sun and the moon shall be darkened. Yeah, with all the smoke, man. Thermonuclear smoke and stuff. It says, and the sun and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, man. The Lord coming back during World War III. You can read that in 2nd Ezra, man. I think it's the 13th chapter. It says, verse 17, So shall ye know that I am the Lord, your God, your power, dwelling in Zion. We are Zion, my holy mountain. We are Mount Zion. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her anymore. That's real reparations. Because the base word for reparation is to repel, man. The Lord is going to repel us. Because he put us through this. Only he can repel us. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down like down, drop down new wine. And the hills shall flow with milk. And all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters. And a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord. And shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. And that's what you damn devils did, man. When y'all came over here and stole this land from our brothers, man. That's what y'all did, man. It's like it. <clears throat> Verse 20, it says, but Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed for the Lord. Y'all by Shem Yashah dwelleth in Zion, man. He dwell inside of us, man. That's beautiful, man. That's real reparation, man. From now, let's get 2 Thessalonians. This is 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verse 6, it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a righteous thing for him to recompense tribulation upon you damn devils, man, for all y'all and did to us, man. The wicked shall not go unpunished, man. You're going to get punished for what you did. You can't pay your way out of this hill. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> your ass done, your mouth done wrote a check that your ass can't cash, as they say in the world. But, hey, you done did some things to us that you got to pay for. A lot of y'all might say, I didn't own any slave. Hey, but you benefit from slavery. And guess what else? You are your forefather. <laughs> Cause spirits don't die. They just take on new bodies. To the third and fourth generation, man. Your spirit come back. <laughs> and you got to come back and receive your judgment. Hey, <laughs> regeneration is real. Reincarnation is real. It's real, baby. Real live talk. Real talk. From there, let's get Revelation 13 and 10. I'm summing it up. It says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the faith. So, like, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's what we wait. That's what we patiently waiting on, man. For all those that led us into captivity, for y'all ass to go into captivity. All you motherfuckers that killed us with the sword, guess what? Same goes. This is the faith and the patience of us saints, man. And who are the saints? Us Israelites. Let's prove that. Let's prove that. This Psalms 148 and 14. It says, he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, 
Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. We are the saints, man. We are the saints, man. From now, let's get Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. It says, And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hands, he shall surely be put to death. And guess what? Guess what's going to happen when the Lord come back, our big brother? He going to find us still in you damn devil's hands, man. Because, hey, you, you have the audacity and the pride to say, well, will not you go back to where you come from? Okay, because of systematic oppression, how can the poorest of our people get a passport and go back to where the hell they from? Man, we from Jerusalem, man. You think the motherfucking gutter rats gonna let us back over there, man? We can barely get a visa, man. Once the visa run out, guess what we got to come back to? We got to come back to a miracle, man. So, hey, <laughs> you can't even, you can't even, it's hard to even get citizenship in another country, man. But like I said, because of systematic oppression and redlining and blackballing and all that other stuff, etc., etc., you know, how can the poorest of our nation pack up and go back to where they were from, man? It's impossible, man. That's why we need big bro. To come back, man, and subdue you damn heathens, man. And that's what he gonna come do, man. From now, I'm gonna get Jeremiah. It's like it. It's honest. I'm gonna get Jeremiah 15 and 33. It says, Thus said the Lord, how about Shah of hosts, when it's when that when it say of hosts, that word host mean army. Because it tell you in uh Exodus 15 and 3 that, that the Lord is a man of war, man. The Lord is a man of war. When the angel, when Yahweh shall come back with the angels, it's war time. It take war to free up a nation, man. How you think America got its so-called Independence Day through war, man? How you think the Israelites gonna get out? We gonna get our independence through war, man. <laughs> All these UFO sightings they've been seeing, these chariots, you you stupid damn idiots thinking that they aliens. Those are angels. Those are our big brothers flying those things, man. They go, you're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, man. You're going to find it strange that the children of Israel are getting beamed up into those things, man. And once we get beamed up, Lord willing, I'll be a part of that number. And the brothers that they go out on the highways and byways with me, man. The elder apostles to hold down, man. They get beamed up. Those nuclear missiles coming down, man. The nukes coming down right after, man. Ooh, it's going to be heavy, man. I'm read this again. Jeremiah 15, 33. It says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Yeah. The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. We was oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast and refused to let them go. So how the hell are you going to say, hey, you can you pack up and go back to where you were from? Hey, that's that's the pride of a damn devil, man. These people refuse to let us go. That's why we got it's like it. That's why we got birth certificates, we got social security cards, we got all kinds of contracts with the government, man. And like I say, to lead this country, you need a fucking passport. They refuse to let us go, man. And once you yeah, once they get tired of you over there, they shipping you back, man. So shut the fuck up. It's Zechariah 11 and 5. These scriptures are real, man. It's Zechariah 11 and 5. It says, Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Yeah, man. Shit. These folks killing us up, man. Holding themselves not guilty. Every time you look around, not guilty. Not guilty. Uh, uh, on paid leave, paid administrative leave, man. What happened to these jokers that just killed this young guy, this young cat, man? I think it was in Philly, somewhere. I don't remember where it was, but the, it's this youngest uh, so-called black dude that got killed, man. What they do to them? Nothing. Hold themselves not guilty, man. Hey, man. <laughs> You people, man, are going to get a real good punishment when the when our big brother come back, man. So get ready. It's Isaiah chapter 14. 
And we start at verse one. It says, "For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, meaning us Israelites, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled with the angel. And we are the tw uh, Jacob had twelve sons, and the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, all this, all, um, all descend from those twelve sons. We make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, every tribe is its own nation within the nation of Israel." <laughs> It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. That's reparation. That's real reparations right there. And the strangers shall be joined unto them. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The Israelite foreigners that don't know that they Israelites because they look like the other nations. It says, they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. For servants and handmaids. That's you other nations, you damn heathens, man. <laughs> Who said it ain't gonna be slavery in the kingdom of heaven? You you a blasphemer, man. You a blasphemer. And blasphemy is one of the sins that if I think blasphemy is the only sin that you can't be forgiven for, man. That's blasphemy to say that we ain't gonna have slaves in the kingdom. That's blasphemy, man. You need to watch what you say because you're speaking against the Lord. The Lord say, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Just like we were servants and handmaids, we're going to have servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors, man. Verse 3, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Whew. The water you how about shall y'all shall. The water mean thank you, man. It says, and from thy fear, we won't be scared every time we see a motherfucking cop pull up behind us with them damn lights on, man. We won't be scared anymore, man. We're going to have spiritual powers, you know, the, the elect or the nation of Israel, the governing body. You know, we're going to have spiritual powers. You know the rest of the, the innumerable multitude, you know, don't have some 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 form of spiritual power, you know. But that governing body, man, that them the ones you're gonna be scared of, man. And that's the prophets on this side, man. The prophets and the teachers. Lord willing, I build that number and I hold fast, man. <clears throat> it said, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear. And from the hard bondage where, wherein thou was made to serve. Yeah, he made us serve in hard bondage, man. Yeah. That's real reparation, man. For the sake of time, I'm going to move on to the next scripture that I have. Uh, they got like a, whew, man, I got a lot. I got more than I thought I did. Um, This is Daniel. Chapter 7, verse 18, it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Forever, never seen so long. Man, you know the song. <laughs> you know the song. All right, from now, we get Psalms, chapter 47, verse 3. It says, He shall subdue. Just talk about Yahweh Shah, man. When he come back. Psalms 47 and 3, it says, He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. And now, what I want to do, I want to get that definition for subdue right quick. I got it queued up. I love going into this definition. This is the definition of subdue. It says, overcome, quieten, or bring under control a feeling or a person. It says bring a country or people under control by force. That's what Yahweh Shah coming to do. Bring you people under control by force. Look at the similar words, man. Conquer, defeat, vanquish, get the better of, overpower, overcome, overwhelm, crush, quash, quell, beat. Trounce, subjugate, master, suppress, tame, bring someone to their knees. Ooh, what the scripture say? Every knee shall bow, man. It says humble, 
Chastin, Cow Lick, Thrash, Wipe the Floor with, Clobber, Demolish, Hammer, Walk All Over, Curb, Restrain, Hold Back, Constrain, Contain, Inhibit, Repress, Strifle, Smother, Check, Arrest, Ooh, Yeah, It's Like They Arrest Us, You Gonna Be Arrested, Motherfuckers, it Says Control, Govern, moder Moderate, Tone Down, Diminish, Lessen, Down, Man, all those words are heavy, man. It's the meaning of subdue, man. That's what the Lord coming back to do. He coming to subdue, man. Not this guy right here, man. Not this guy right here, that so-called angry black man. That angry so-called black man. That's what he coming to do. I'm going to read it again. It says Psalms verse, seven, verse 47 and 3. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. Whew. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. This is Isaiah 34 and 8. It says, For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. For everything y'all did to us, man. That's going to be the day of the Lord's anger, man. He's going to take vengeance, man. He's going to recompense y'all for what y'all did to us, man. Real reparations. Real reparations. That's what we want. We want real reparations. This is Isaiah chapter 51. Um, I'm gonna start at verse. Start at verse three. It says, "For the Lord shall comfort Zion; He will comfort all her waste places, and He will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden, like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving. And that's not talking about eating turkeys and shit, man. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me." my people and give ear unto me O my nation for a law shall proceed from me and i will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people my righteousness is near my salvation is gone forth and mine arms shall judge the people the isles shall wait upon me and on mine arms shall they trust lift up your eyes to the heavens and look up look upon the earth beneath for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. <clears throat> it says, Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revelings. For the mouth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wood. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation, because we're going to live forever, baby. It says, Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old, art thou not in that hath cut her Rahab? And wounded the dragon. Um, I'm going to jump down to verse 14. Isaiah 51 to 14. It says, The captive exile hasteneth the, that he may be loose. Yeah, man. We ready to be loose from this, this punishment, man. We done learned our lesson. You know, we done learned who our heavenly father is. Who, who, our, who our big brother is. You know, the water you have by Sham Yahweh Shah, for the spirit of truth coming from Elder Apostle Taha, Elder Apostle Gabal, Elder Apostle uh, Rakal, Elder Apostle Ramla, man, on down, man, to his younger brothers, man, the water you have by Sham Yahweh Shah for this truth. The water you have by Sham Yahweh Shah, the captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose, and that he should not die in the pit nor that his bread should fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea, whose ways roareth. The Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury, Woo. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. Yeah, man. We, we did our time. We served our punishment. 
It says, There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. So I'm going to skip a little bit more. And I'm going to jump down to verse 22. Isaiah 51 and 22 it says Thus said thy Lord The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai And thy God that pleaded the cause of his people Behold I have taken Out of thine hand the cup of trembling Even the dregs Of the cup of my fury Thou shalt drink it no more again Verse 23 But I will put it into the hand of them That afflict thee Yeah real reparations which have said to thy soul bow down that we may go over and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over yeah man yeah yeah we laid down man so y'all can walk all over us man but hey guess what it's payback for that man it's payback y'all walked all over us it's payback for that though Revelation 2 and 27 it says and he shall rule them with the rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father Who? Mm, mm, mm. it's over for you other nations man it's over for you heathens and we are that rod of iron man it's Jeremiah 51 uh, Jeremiah 51 and I'm going to start at verse 19 Jeremiah 51 and 19 it says the portion of Jacob is not like them for he is the former of all things and Israel is the rod of his inheritance the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushua hosts his name verse 20 thou art my battle axe and weapons of war for with thee will I break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms spiritual power baby we gonna get spiritual power we gonna get spiritual power it's the faith and the patience of the saint, man. This is real reparations. We're going to take the king. This is how we're going to take the kingdom, man. This is how we're going to get our, our independence through war, baby. Through war. Back, man. The tabernacle of David is coming back, man. The Bayah Dawada, man. The house of David. Fierce and mighty warriors, man. Well, the Lord was always behind us when we did what we were supposed to do according to what he said do, man. He always stood behind us and we always destroyed motherfuckers, man. We always destroyed motherfuckers, man. Until we sin, man. And when we sin, we'll fall, man. He'll leave us alone for a spell. Just like he did now. But guess what? The second exodus is coming, baby. And it ain't going to be nothing nice. That's why they trying to pay you niggas reparations, man. Because they know a gift destroyed the heart, man. But you could give me reparations, but that gift ain't going to destroy my heart because I still know the truth, baby. Verse 20, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces <laughs> will I break in pieces captains and rulers, man. I'm gonna stop right there, man, for the sake of time. I don't want this to be in like two or three parts, but I can go on and 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 on, man. These scriptures are beautiful. These scriptures are beautiful, but, you know, hopefully this lesson has been edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, the water Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson, man. You know, work, work got to go on, man. Got to keep our hands to the plow, man. You know, and keep pushing, keep the faith, keep believing. You know, I would say hopefully this lesson has been edified, man. You know, so with that being said, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Rakako Dash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach us and rule well, man. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole feet. Let Shalom.